If I were to ask you on a scale of 1 to 10 how important is exercise to you, what would you say? And if I were to ask you on a scale of 1 to 10 how confident are you that you'll consistently exercise, what would you say? Those two questions paired with your readiness equals your motivation to exercise. And I'm guessing that if you're watching this video here, trying to elicit and enhance your motivation to exercise is what's most important to you. Maybe not necessarily how you would go about exercising. So let's go ahead and get to it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Berta Lippert and I'm a Mayo Clinic trained and board certified health and wellness coach and where I specialize is behavior change such as helping people exercise more. What I want to share with you today is something that I did learn while I was studying at Mayo Clinic and it's related to motivational interviewing. It's regarding how we might talk about exercise and specifically our motivation to exercise. So something you guys that in my field we call change talk or sustain talk. Now, change talk would be a way that you would talk about exercising, you know, speech that you would use or language that we'd use that would move you towards the goal of moving more and being more active. And sustained talk would be language that you use that keeps you stuck, that keeps you unmotivated, not necessarily taking action. So change talk or sustained talk. Now, if I go back to that question that I asked you in the beginning, where I say, hey, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important is exercise to you? What would you say? Now, if you come back and you rank it really high, maybe an 8 or a 9, my second question would be, okay, great. This is really important to you. Why is that? Why did you rank exercise and the importance of it to you at an 8 or a 9? And you might come back with things that you think of, such as or maybe you want to be more active. Maybe your child is having their first child and you'll be a grandparent and you want to be really active. Or maybe you have history of being active and you remember how it felt. Maybe you need to lose weight and there's something that's really getting in your way of living the life that you want to now. It could be lots of different reasons where when you even just speak those out loud, you'll notice that you feel different, that it increases your motivation to exercise more, where you can actually elicit that feeling. That's called change talk. Now maybe you're just the opposite and you rank the importance of exercise really low at the bottom of the scale, maybe a two or a three. The language you might use then is, you know what, I don't need to lose weight, or I'm fine, or I'm not really athletic, or my friends and family were not really that active. I don't really need to do anything right now. That's sustained talk. Obviously, if something's not that important to you, it's going to be hard to be motivated to take action on it. So if something is really important to you, the other factor that we want to look at is your confidence level. So if I were to ask you on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you that you're going to consistently exercise? Now let's say that you did rank this really high as far as the importance, that exercising is really important to you and it's probably why you're watching this video, right? Well, let's say you're not as confident and you rank your confidence of consistently exercising a lot lower on the scale, let's say 3. My next question to you, if you were to rank your confidence at three, is, okay, three, why was it not lower? Why did you not rank your confidence at a one or a two? Why was it at a three? And usually what will happen then is people will pause and they'll think, well, yeah, why did I not rank it lower? And again, what that would do is get the gears kind of thinking and you approaching this and viewing this in a way that's naturally leading to change talk. You would say, well, I didn't rate it as a tool because I used to really love playing tennis. Or you know what, I really wanted to get a dog and take him for a walk and have him be my best buddy. You know, that speaks to desire or that speaks to ability. Or maybe there is something that's been getting in your way of being as active you like, and it's a reason or a need to do that. So even though initially you might think, oh, I'm hopeless, I, I only am motivated and thinking as a three on a scale of my confidence, when that's really not necessarily a negative thing, you can elicit more of those feelings, kind of evoke that change talk when I ask you questions such as, why was it not lower? Notice I didn't ask why your confidence level was so low. I wouldn't ask, oh, that's, that's low, you know, why is it a three? Because that would lead you to sustained talk. That would lead you back to the, well, I'm not very athletic, or my family's not really supportive, nobody's really active in my house, and I really don't need to lose weight, there's really no reason for me to do that. I wouldn't want that if this is something that is important to you. And maybe you just initially lack some confidence, but we can grow those things and we can develop your self-efficacy. And of course, we have to start where you're at 
and where you're ready. But if you're someone who does find that this is something really important to you, that you want to be more active and you want to exercise more, but you've just really been lacking the motivation, it could be how you're talking to yourself in that. So I wouldn't necessarily think your initial confidence in doing something, if it's a little bit lower that you like, it doesn't mean anything, you guys. If you have that desire, and in fact, in my field, that change talk that we talk about, there's things that we look at and we try to evoke someone's desire, someone's needs, someone's ability, their reasons, and that helps move them into more of a commitment stage and being able to take action and develop that plan. And that's, again, where your importance and your confidence and your readiness will equal motivation. So this type of activity is something to be super helpful. And what I want to do is help you out. And on my blog, I put some more questions that I would typically ask in a scenario like this when I'm coaching someone that if you're curious, maybe you want to journal about this and really explore this more, I'll put a link to that down below. What I'd love for you to do right now is I invite you down in the comments section that anything that just came to mind right now, when I asked you the question of what would you rate this on a scale of one to 10, how important is exercise to you? And why did you rank it where you did? And your confidence level, again, maybe it's lower than you would initially like it to be, but maybe it wasn't one or down at the bottom. Now, why is that? So feel free to share and let's inspire each other down in the comments below. Now, if you're someone who has not been active for quite some time, but you would like to be, I want you to watch this video next where I share the exact strategy that I use with my clients who have a desire to exercise but haven't in a while. And it's the three steps in the sequence that I use it, especially important of what to do first. If you're someone who truly has not been active in a while, but you truly would like to be.